All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday afternoon Dynasty Strong Level Up Squad uh, team call. Um, I just want to make a couple announcements. Um, just a, a reminder for you guys as you're getting out, starting your business, or you're, maybe you're a little further in your business, that it's important. I was having this conversation with one of my partners that was struggling. He was getting closer to Diamond, and he had this struggle. He was like, well, all my preferred customers have slowly started to... Um, you know, go inactive and sometimes they're ordering and sometimes they're not. And he's like, I'm just having a hard time recruiting to my business. And so I took a look at his social media, uh, both Facebook and Instagram, and it had been about a month and five days since there was a post on his social media. Uh, and he's very consistent in showing his energize. Um, and this isn't calling anybody out. This is just for, so everybody can be aware of this as you're building a business. Um, like every day he's so consistent in, uh, just like, uh, shaking his energize and that's all you can see is the energize shaking. And then, um, a picture on his, um, of his TV of the workout that he's going to do. And it's just that picture every day with consistency, the picture of the workout and energize. And so I just had to reach out to him. And this is just for anybody on here that might be struggling with, uh, people aren't contacting me. People aren't responding. Um, I just had to tell him, like, hey, like people need to see you consistently showing up. And I do see that you're consistent with posting your energize and your workout, but nobody has any clue that they can join you or that you have a business opportunity for them to be a part of with you. So I was giving advice on his social media. Make sure that you know or that people know what you're doing and how you can help them. Uh, so there's no question. I think to even today in 2023, uh, moving through the end of this year, 2024, um, and Sandra asked me this question, like I've heard trainings before where, where you don't want to mention uh, the product like Shakeology or body. And so that people ask questions. And, and that was something that was called curiosity marketing. And that worked in the past. But I told her like, I'm very straightforward. This is my energy. This is my plant-based pre-workout that I'm drinking for my clean energy when I'm reading my personal development book, this is my workout program called Core to Force that is a part of the body company. Like I'm just very straightforward. And I think people want that more than ever now today. Um, and, and maybe that's just me, but I have people come into my inbox and they'll start asking me questions or commenting on my post. Uh, and then they're just like, eventually they're like, hey, can I ask you a question? I'm like, yeah, just, just get to it. Like, tell me what you want. Like, <laughs> I'm busy. Right. And I so so I look at when I'm talking with people like that, I'm just very straightforward in sharing on my social media what I do, what my mission is, how I can help them. Uh, also in my stories, talking about my business. Hey, I finished my business activity tracker. This is my pre-workout. I take it about 15 minutes before I hit my workout uh, and so forth. Like this is a workout I chose for this month because it has less weights and I'm going to be traveling and, and at my cabin and like in an RV a lot this month. So I chose this workout from body for this reason. So I'm just very straightforward about that. So I, I just want you to think about that. And that example that I gave to my, uh, my coach, and my partner that was struggling in recruiting, struggling because he's not talking about it um, or letting people know that they can be a part of your business. Like one thing <clears throat> I've had moments uh, throughout, I've been a coach for 12 years, partner. And there has been a couple of times over the years where someone will say to me, like, are you still doing that beach body thing? Like this is a couple of years ago. And I'm like, oh man, I am not talking about my business as much as I should be. So um, just remember to be talking about your business and talking about your business consistently uh, so that people know what they can do. Uh, another thing I want to give a shout out. If you go into the Dynasty Strong Level Up Squad, I I just love success stories. Um one of my newer partners, his name is Dustin Hay. He's been a partner partner for a month. He's doing 21 day fix, following the meal plan, doing his shakeology, drinking his shakeology daily. And then he's walking on the treadmill two, two miles every night. And he was drinking every day before. And his just before after of his face, like his face picture is just so phenomenal. So check that out. Give him a shout out if you can. I think it's absolutely incredible. But I share that because um, if you're a brand new partner, or you've been a partner for a while, um, it's, if we ever share someone's transformation inside of our team page, you're more than welcome to also share that in your stories or on your social media. Just say they're a part of your team because you are a part of this team. They're a part of this team. Um, because the more time that you can show that social proof, it's not just you doing the workouts. Um, 
people might be able to relate to, you know, maybe you don't have a problem drinking alcohol and you don't have a transformation that can relate with someone right now, but you share, let's say Dustin's and someone's trying to stop drinking or trying to replace drinking with a better habit or whatever it might be, they might relate better to that story. So the, the, one of my mentors, when I first started said the person who tells the story the most wins. So just be loud about sharing success stories, uh, both for the business and for <clears throat> um, transformation. So um, I also shared in there, one of the things that I do um, when I'm using my social media is I, I address um, I address objections in my posts. So for example, someone might be saying it's too, Shakeology is too expensive or uh, the pre-workout is mo cost more than this other one I can get or whatever, whatever, right? There's tons, I don't have enough time to do the business. So whenever I'm sh shouting someone out um, for their transformation or for their business, I always try to address an objection inside of that. And so I loved uh, on Dustin, like he gave me, like he just told me when I was asking him about his uh, results, how he felt over his first month. He's like, my wife was telling me that Shakeology is too spent. Like, isn't that, isn't that stuff really expensive? And he told her, like he addressed the objection to his wife and he said, well, it's less expensive than me uh, buying a 30 pack of beer every other day for an entire month, because that's what he used to, used to do prior. And it's hugely less, less expensive and better for you. Right. So I just put that, I quoted him in that post. And just address because there's people out there that might be spending more than they need to on coffee or on eating out or whatever it might be. And it's just replacing an unhealthy habit or a not so good habit with a healthier habit. So use your social media to address uh, objections as well. It will be a great tip. So um, I want to share one, one announcement that I just listened to while I was eating like 15 minutes before this call happened. Kayshawn Graves went live in a group. I don't even know if it was the body basics group you guys can be in or the body business or if it was in the um, leadership five star and above group, but I listened to it um, and I want to share the announcement with you. Let me find share screen. I took a screenshot, so hopefully it's clear. Okay. It's somewhat clear. So there's a new package coming out and we've been asking in the five star group called the round table for a minute. Can you guys see this? Say hello to our newest total solution pack. Okay, so we've been asking for a long time, like people want a month to month option in a total solution pack. Because if you, as you know, total solution packs are what are promoted most. They they are tied to success club points. Um, so there's a, a few changes here that are happening. So I want you to pay attention, ask questions if you have them. Um, but we wanted to give customers a lower price point to enter. Um, obviously there's still the 219 total solution pack, which is like Shakeology and a year access to body or energize and recover and a year access to body or the 20 serving bag of Shakeology, 20 serving, uh, energize and Shakeology. Those are all 219. You have a promo code so you can get it to someone for 199, but it includes a year access to body. And it is the very best deal. It's the best saves the most money, but there are people that want to come in at a lower price point that can't do 219. And so I'm excited that they announced this today. I didn't know it was coming, but we've been asking for it. Uh, but there is a new total solution pack coming out in September. Um, the FAQ is 8845. So make sure you write that down and look at it because the date is on there. It's sometime in September. It's not available yet, but I can't remember the date because I was, oh, there it is. Launches September 21st in the US and Canada. Um, it is a $99 package uh, for the initial order. So it's $99 and it comes with a month of body, like everything that's included in body. It comes with the two super blocks, just like a total solution pack does right now. And it comes with a 20 serving bag of Shakeology. So 20 serving bag of Shakeology and one month, uh, that initial order is 99. Uh, obviously for a partner as well, it's the same total solution packs are the same for a partner, preferred customer or a customer. So that is $99. And then that's what I remember hearing. So make sure we look at this FAQ in case I give a little wrong information because I'm seeing right there 99 and then slash 120. And I don't know what that 129, 120 means. Um, I think it might be, there was the option. Well, 120 Canada. is Canada. Oh, Canada. There you go. Thank you, Matt. I was like, I don't want to give wrong information. I swear I heard her say 99. Now I'm seeing 120 on here. So that would be, yeah, that would be the Canada price. So um, 
the it will have a five dollar shipping on that package. Um, it will carry sixty three volume points uh, to that order. And I'm looking at the initial order right now, as I tell you, it'll carry 27 team volume points. And then the commission for that $99 package is $30.69. Okay. Um, then the, it shows the renewal. Um, so the month to month renewal, it'll be $99. The next month has a 20 serving bag of Shakeology and another month of body. Does that make sense? So it's just a month to month subscription of both body and Shakeology. Um, if they become a partner, and the same rule applies to other total solution packs, where if they enroll with the 219 package or whatever, it, it waives the $40 signup fee, they can become a partner or preferred customer. The same thing applies to this total solution pack. So they can waive their enrollment fee, sign up as a partner for $99, get a month of body, a month of 20 serving Shakeology. And then if they do become a partner, their um, renewal price for the 20 serving bag of Shakeology plus the month of body is $74.95, okay? And then it shows there the personal volume and the team volume. Uh, so the next month, the team volume will go up on that as well. And the bonus point uh, for a renewal, if they're a customer, will be the $24.75 will be the renewal uh, for the customer. And then obviously remember, if they are a partner or a preferred customer, you no longer get a commission monthly for them because their um, order, they get the 25% discount and then their order volume goes into your team volume. So um, that that renewal commission of 24.75 is only if they're a customer. If they're a partner or a preferred customer, once again, they get a 25% discount. So you don't get a 25% commission. You just get that 55 team volume points in your downline for your team bonus cycles. Okay, there's another huge change. This is This is a big one. Uh, it will carry one success club point. So it won't be two, like, like, like a 219 total solution pack. It will carry one success club point, which is awesome. You can still get a success club point by getting someone into one of these total solution packs. But if you recall to, as a partner to be qualified for success club, you need to have 90 personal volume on home direct or auto ship of your own product and have success club five. Does that make sense? Like if you want to achieve success club, you have to have your own order on auto ship of 90 personal volume points and have five success club points to qualify for success club. So because uh, we have this new pack, they have lowered the personal volume requirement for success club to 63 or 60, yeah, 63. So to qualify for success club, you now only have to have 63 personal volume points on success club. Does that make sense on, on auto ship? Okay. Um, as for right now, it's just a limited time offer from September until the end of the year. Um, once, once again, just to repeat, it does have uh, two super blocks. They get unlocked with it. The current one, plus they get to choose one of the other ones. The current flavors in it are vegan chocolate, vegan vanilla, and uh, soon to be vegan snickerdoodle. And I already mentioned this, but it does waive the enrollment fee, the $40 enrollment fee if they become a partner or a preferred customer. And it meets the PV uh, HD requirement for Success Club and gives you one point, uh, being that that personal, new personal volume requirement is 63. Um, you, can't, you cannot use a $20 off promo code like you can on the 219 packages. So is that clear? Does that make sense about the new package? Okay, let me stop sharing that. Okay, so that's uh, the main announcement that I wanted to make. And then one more announcement, and then I'll take some questions from you guys. Um, next Tuesday, we'll have a team call. I'll have a guest speaker. It'll be at the same time at 12 o'clock Mountain Time on the 5th of August. And then on the 7th, uh, Thursday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, we will have a coach opportunity call. So that gives you, from now, gives you like 10 days to be inviting to invite people to come to that um, opportunity call with us on Thursday night. And I'm going to be doing it together with another five-star diamond on this team named Lauren. And she's awesome. So she'll have a great story to tell and hopefully we can connect with your audience. So cool. That's all I have for announcements. Now, what, what can I help you guys with in your business? What, what do you need advice on or help with? And I'm here to help hopefully point in the right direction.
Uh, I've got a question. Um, so we've done, or you've done a couple of the business opportunity calls, and obviously uh, the the best best thing with them is to have them uh, to join them live. But um, you know, the last one in particular, I thought was really really good, and I mean they've they've all been good, but this last one was really good. How do you use that, or how would you use that in terms of somebody's interested in coaching or being a partner, somebody's interested in joining your team? Um, they, you know, you've been talking about it. They, they've expressed interest. Do you send them the video or the recording of that and say, "Hey, what?" And then let's talk. Do you talk and then and then send them and if they uh, years ago, you know, there was the DVD and it was just trying to get the you're just trying to get the opportunity in front of as many people as possible. Yeah, and, and I know I know with a lot of things it's depends on the person and there's some variability in all of that. Right. But yep. just in general, if somebody's showing interest, um, should I send them the, the, the coach uh, partner opportunity call say, Hey, if you, you know, if you have time, watch this first and then we'll talk later. Or do you, do you talk to them and then just use that as a backup? Okay. So what I do, I'll tell you exactly what I do. Uh, and then it, it's slightly different for someone that might be a new partner that's not confident in explaining everything well or afraid that they might not be able to answer all of the questions. So there's two different approaches there. So me, if you ask me personally, if someone comes into my, let's say I'm having a conversation and I'm like, dude, have you ever thought about doing what I do? And they're like, what is that? Or how does that work? Um, I would basically leave a voice message. I would be like, basically we're partnered with body and I'll just say like, we have all these incredible fitness programs. We have incredible nutrition programs. We have mindset content and we have the ability to help people with these programs and earn 25 to 40% commissions. And then I say, I would love to chat with you and answer any questions that you have. And I get on the phone with them. If someone comes to me and says like, sure, yeah, I'd like to learn about it. And I get on the phone with them and I usually set aside 30 to 40 minutes and 20 minutes, I'm asking about their family, their job. Are they doing what they wanted to do? Are there any goals in their life that they, they're they working on or that they used to work on, that they stopped working on? And I try to find out everything I can about this person, what they want. And then, uh, and then I tell my story. And like, after I understand all of that and I relate some part of my story that can relate to them, whether it's um, the school bus story where where I felt like I was missing time with my daughter or it was the bills uh, at the birth of my third daughter and the day that I signed up, right? Some story that connects with one of their pain points. And then I'll just be like, you should do this with us. Like, like I'm just very bold. Like, when do you want to get started? Like, let's get started. And, and just very confident in that. And then sometimes they're ready and sometimes they're not. And it might still take another month, two months, three months. And then that's where I'm plugging them into Every time we have an opportunity meeting, I'm like, come, come we're going to do one this Thursday. We're going to explain. You're going to hear some stories from some other partners on our team. Would you like to come watch? Or and, and then they can be exposed more to the business, right? But for me personally, I get on the phone right away. If you're not confident doing that right away, then the second approach that I would do is I would be, I would say, like, hey, this this upcoming Thursday, we're going to do a Zoom and we're going to talk about. Uh, everything that means to be a partner with body, like how you earn commissions. Uh, wh what does the coach do? What does a partner do? Uh, if I sent you the link, would you come watch? Right. I, I send an invite like that, that the day of, then I'll follow up with them. I'll be like, Hey, reminder, we're going to start. We're going to do that tonight in about four hours, whatever. Right. I'll remind them from my follow-up list. And the same thing, if they're not there, I'll be like, Hey, I know family life gets busy. Um, I didn't see on the call last night. Would you like me to send you the recording? So I'm constantly following up like that. And let's say they didn't come to the live meeting. They're like, ah, yeah, I got caught up in my, my kid's game. I forgot about it, whatever. I'll watch the recording. When I follow up, I say, I want you to watch the recording. Or if it's on live, I'll ask the same questions, but just ask them directly and not after you watch the recording. And then I'll, I'll say, hey, um, as you watch that recording, I want you to write down any questions that you have and how you feel body can benefit you. And once you, once you finish watching that video, text me and let's do a phone call and talk about those questions or how you feel it can benefit you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so I do both of those approaches. Um, like 
even sometimes if I'm like, like right now, you know, I'm going into a very busy season with archery hunting where it's going to be harder for me to schedule calls in the, in the middle of the day. And, and it might be hard for me to get a evening call with one. And when they only can do an evening call, when I'll be out with my dad. So in that case, um, whether it's the live call, like I, I'll bypass doing the phone call. Like I do, like I technically do in most cases, and I'll invite them to the meeting. I'll be like, Hey, I'd like to get on the phone with you this week. However, I'm, I'm out. I'll just tell them what I'm doing. I'm out with my dad and I, I can't schedule a night call. Um, but we will be doing this, the zoom on this night. If I invited you to it, would you come? And then on the, on the sneak peeks, we, we go over everything. We tell them after, you know, reach out to the person that invited you here with, um, and tell them, you know, how you feel this can benefit you or what your goals are or any questions that you have. Does that I, make sense? I would assume, yeah, it does. Uh, um, I would assume even if we're, even if we're not, you know, a hundred percent confident and, and, um, or whatever that you would still suggest get on a phone call. I mean, you're not going to get better at it unless you just go do it. Right. But yeah, um, that's still pro uh, the, the, the top approach. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's really the best because, um, you, you can even botch up and like answering any of their questions, but as long as you had a good conversation and they connected with you, like they'll overlook that. Like, as long as you left them feeling good, right. And had a good conversation. Sure. Um, and maybe, maybe you had that good conversation. You really didn't get to explain it they're going to be more likely to watch that video, watch the recording or get on live. If they made a good connection with you for 30 minutes, you know, they heard your story. They can connect with your story. They see why you're doing what you're doing. Maybe that caused them to think about something in their life that they want to change. They're going to be more likely to hop on that video or that zoom call. Even if you didn't even get to explain what a total solution pack was or how like that you earn commissions or anything and you run out of time, 30 minutes and you're like, Oh, I got to get back to work. Um, we didn't really get to answer all the questions, you know, you can then text them later, voice text, be like, Hey, let's, you know, we're going to do this call. We'll go over everything in detail. Right. Cause isn't it like, isn't it true? If you, if you make that good connection, then you're willing to go back and do more or, or investigate more. For sure. So, yeah. So I think hands down, the sooner you get onto a phone call and, and just make friends and tell your story and figure out what they want. Um, the better. So great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Think, think of any other questions. Give me one second. I have to go check the food real quick. And I want to see some typed in questions when I get back. And you guys can talk to each other, by the way, don't be shy. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> Hiding. What great states are you, right? It's really Where? great. I just said it's really great to see you. I'm in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Oh, nice. I'm it's kitty and puppy sitting. Oh, I have three of my own and I have a dog. So this I'm is a big animal my person. The other one's still in there. She loves it. She could sit out here for hours. Uh, but this one wanted to go in. Oh, I see, I see the like puppy the on the couch. She doesn't like the uh, puppy. Oh, my golden. I have a golden retriever. She's yeah. eight. And yeah. then I have three cats, 10, four and 11 months. Mm, and then I have two kids. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're 12 and 17. I have I have one kid who's going to be 25 in December and wow. married for a year and they both live with us now. So and this one is three years old. The other one's four years old. They look alike. And then they oh, have nice. a Norwegian elk hound puppy. I'll show you my my doggy. There she is. Oh, Dakota. Very pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. I'm so, in New York. Where's oh. everybody else? Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Oh, you're in Wisconsin. I could tell you yeah. are from New York when, when I was talking to you at the beginning. Oh, yeah, I'm in New York. I'm on Long Island. I'm going to put this one. But I'm different. a Queens girl. I'm a Queens girl moved to Long Island because my Long Island husband does not leave Long Island. So <laughs> Be not leaving I can handle myself. I just live in Long Island. There you go. <sighs> um, 
I don't see any questions up right now, but I wanted to ask Matt something. So Matt's doing something pretty cool today. Uh, I've worked with Matt for a while about um, crafting his ideal day. And this is something that each of you, uh, I want you guys to do as well. It's basically like if, if there were no restrictions, like no job telling you what to do, no income limit telling you what you can or you can't do with your time, um, what would your ideal day look like? Like what time do you get up? Do you take your time and read your scriptures for 30 minutes and then read a book and then take a shower and then get your kids out of bed and eat breakfast with them and pray with them and send them off to school and then do your workout up? Like what does that ideal day look like? Um, I had him craft that idea, that plan uh, for his life. And he's kind of uh, doing that today. He took the day off because it was his kid's first day of school. And so today he is like, pretending as if he is at that point where he is able to walk away from his job and live in that ideal day. How, how's it feel today so far? Like what's, what's the day been like? Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been pretty incredible. So uh, Megan and I got up this morning um, about four 30, we got up, we did our workout. Uh, of course, drink our energized, did our workout together. Um, typically I would get up and, uh, do my scripture reading and everything before, but we were trying to get things going as quickly as we could since it's the first day of school. But um, so we got up 4:30, took energized, got up and did uh, beast legs together today, bulk legs together today, um, and uh, got done. Uh, made the kids their shakes. They get they all all four kids drink uh, drink a little mini, probably about a half to three quarter scoop of shakeology every single shake. They all came. Yeah, and they were all excited uh, to see me because I'm just, I'm never here. I, I usually leave the house by six o'clock every morning, and so uh, they were all excited to see me. And so I got to sit there and eat breakfast with them. Um, I got to pray with them before their first day and pray over their first day, which was really really awesome. Um, took them to school. Uh, they ate breakfast. Took them to school. Um, dropped the big ones off. I've actually got my uh, three year old uh, son here with me, keeping him today while my wife's up at, at she's the preschool director, so she's up there with him. But um, so I've got him with me, but we came back. Um, I uh, did my scripture reading. I got my posts in. I've got, uh, got my post up. I got, uh, or I ended up being a reel that I made today, which I don't typically do a lot of reels, but made a reel today, got that out, um, sent out a bunch of messages and, and everything. So I spent a good uh, hour on body um, business type stuff, got down and played the floor with him and with my three-year-old and been playing with him. Uh, put it, get, got him lunch, put him down for a nap, and he's sleeping right now. And uh, so that I could jump on this call and, and really be focused during the call. Um, uh, obviously, it'll be really great whenever they get home and just being home when the kids get home. Uh, they'll get home about 3 30. Typically, I don't get home every day until around 6. So I'll leave the house about 6. I don't usually get home until about 6, 6 30 uh, from work. I've got about a 30, 45 minute commute. Um, and uh, but yeah, so it's just been awesome being around in the morning and, and really that morning time frame of just getting to see them. And even if it's a 30 minute hour long touch point versus just the uh, the two hours to see them from whenever I get home to when we put them to bed. Um, that was really the most special part about it all. But just getting to kind of, go, as, as Scotty said, go through the motions and, um, you know, we craft our vision and I've, I have a clear vision. So getting to live that out help strengthen that vision and just uh and really so, so it's it's been an awesome day uh it's been an awesome morning so far and uh it's just there's there's more to go this afternoon um i've already i've got uh, got a couple of calls scheduled for later so it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great day overall it's awesome. a really really neat experience thanks for sharing that man so i want each of you guys to do that like get real get really clear about your vision and your goals uh what you want to accomplish um not just like that, you know, your coach might be saying hit success club, advance to Emerald, advance to diamond, but those don't have any real meaning behind those. And uh, ranks in success club points, they don't determine who you are as a person or your worth. So there'll, there'll be times you might be a diamond. There might be times you drop to Ruby. There might be times you're a, in the future, a five-star diamond elite team. And then one year you might miss elite. Um, and, but those don't determine your vision or what your 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 end goal is of what you uh, want to accomplish which is like how you want to live your life how you want to spend your time and so forth so i want you guys to get really 
clear about what you want to accomplish because that's going to be the thing that pulls you forward and makes you take action. Um, now, now speaking on that, I was I was hearing something the other day in my personal development where it was talking about setting goals. Um, and it was talking about, and it could be an income goal. It could be a goal to pay off your house by a certain time. It could be a goal to, uh, in your business to rank advance to two star diamond and open your second business center or get to one star diamond and have all the elite points you need road to leadership points. You need to go to the new leader conference, right? You can have this specific goal, but the most important goal that you can really set for yourself is a lifelong goal of your own personal development and growth. Because at any point, like I said, your rank could be taken from you. You could miss your success club points, um, any of those things. But no one can take away the skills and the personal development that you make, that you do. That's something that you'll always carry with you. So make that, I want you guys to really focus on making that a top priority. And that's something that was like really drilled into me in the beginning of my personal development as I uh, had the, the book called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson in my, in my CD player of my car. So every day on the way to work, I listen to it every day on the way back. And so it became ingrained in me that as I did the small things every single day with the right mindset, taking the right steps that it would compound and give a positive result in my life. So I want you guys to really focus on that, on your personal development, because that's going to be the thing that that helps you grow as a person and people see that change in you and they want to be a part of that growth and that change. Does that make sense? Cool. Cool. Any other, oh, we're already at 38. Cool. Anyway, uh, I'm, I can answer another question or two. If you guys have one, a tangible taste of my vision, hard to beat that. Yep. I love that. Cool. Anybody else have any sort of question? I'd be happy to answer about anything. Okay. I think I'm still just trying to find my rhythm. So yeah, I don't really have any questions per se. I'm just trying to like follow the tracker as much as I can. But like once September hits, it's 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 like very little time. So I think once I'm in the thick of it all, because I am a special ed teacher and my kids swim. Um, my son is a national swimmer, so we travel a lot with him. Um, and my daughter is, we're doing the college touring. So it's like a lot to, on my plate. So I think I'm just trying to just do all the things on the tracker that I can find to be like priority. Um, yeah. So like I've been sending a lot of invites. Um, I have a bunch of share cards out there that haven't been checked out yet. So I'm doing all the things and yeah. I'm just, you know, hoping eventually like once summer subsides people are back in their living room and they're like oh, okay like let me get to this hopefully we'll see yeah. but you know um i have one person in particular that i'm just kind of um confused about because she every day will like every single story from like my shot of energize to my workout to my recover to my shakeology to my like brownie bites she likes it all and you know I so I reached out to her and it was no thank you I'm not interested so I left her a little while and then again asked her I thought you know hey what do you think no I'm good so then why do you keep liking her? <laughs> She's like, she is consistently every single day, likes not just one story, not even just watching and following, but like liking every story. Yeah. So I asked her again yesterday and, you know, no, I'm good. So she's a teacher too. So I chatted about that and I'll leave it alone. And I'll just, um, like you were saying, I'm going to make it a little bit more like, I don't know if I'm not making myself approachable. Am I being too salesy and like people are afraid that I'm going to like, you know, ask for their firstborn, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's really not like, it's not like do or die here. Like it's, there's a lot of gray in between that. Maybe they don't understand. Maybe I'm not getting that across. I don't know. Well, what I think, it, and we'll, we'll kind of close out with just touching on all of this. 
is like, I have people as well. I have, I have uh, one person that likes every post that I do. Their kid is at my house. A lot of days I drop my kid off at their house a lot of days and you know, one, and, and she's that person that gets everything done for all of the sports, all the PTO, like they get stuff done. And I'm like, this would be, she would be the best coach and she lives close. And like, we could work really close together one time. And, and she works in, um, like, like, um, a physical therapy office. Like, so she's with oh, the, wow. the movement and I'm like, so I invite her one time she goes, she didn't answer any text. I'm like, Hey, can the kids come over? right away. Yes. Hey, can you pick up so-and-so from dance? Yes. Right away. I send a message. Hey, I've been thinking about this. Doesn't answer <laughs> like completely ghosted. So there's going to be people, but likes all my posts, comments on all the posts. Um, but that's okay. It's not for everybody. Uh, and then someday I'm trying to get back my, uh, my, my ed supervisor too. Cause she was a beach bodyer. Um, and once body changed in January and I have to admit me too, like, I was like, what is this? Like, you know, like, what are they doing? And, you know, nobody likes change. And especially because I didn't understand the change. I was like, what is this nonsense? And they're charging me more, blah, 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 blah. And I was not really coaching. I was doing it like for the discount. So she kind of fell off. She's like, yeah, I'm not renewing or whatever. And um, I don't know, I had been following Kim and I'm like, you know, I just reached out to her and I was like, you know what? I just need to like, just figure this all out for myself. And when she like explained everything, I was so excited about it. And then that kind of like was a chain reaction to my swim mom friends. But like now it's hard to get her back. Like I'm, I'm like trying to get her back. She's like, I'm good. I'm doing Jillian Michaels. And I'm like, okay, but what do you get with Jillian Michaels? Like, what even is that? You know, um, she's doing those workouts and she's vegan. So, but I keep saying everything's plant-based now. Um, but again, I keep at, um, like, I'm going to be doing a challenge group and I try to reach out and say, you can just buy the program if you want, you know, the chop wood, like silent. I'll see her next week. There's no running from me down the hallway, but I don't want to, again, like, I feel like she would be a great customer or, you know, possibly doing this on the side, but how do you keep from like, I don't know. So I don't want to scare people away. Yeah. So let, let me just address that real quick and then uh, we'll need to wrap it up. One of the biggest things I think I've learned in all of my personal development audios, listening to um, one of the ones I'm doing right now, I'm going through a whole program I bought like for a thousand bucks, like years ago called Mastering Influence. And just by hearing you, one of the things you said, like about, I don't know if you said it to her directly, but you never, when someone has a belief about something or does something, you never want to tell them that that's not the right thing or the, or the, it's not good for them. Right, no, I know. Yeah. So, um, and, and that's just, that could be anything. It could be someone saying like, oh, I don't need supplements. Like when someone says that to me, like, I love my energize. I love, I don't go a day without my Shakeology. I'm not going to say like, oh, but supplements are good. Like you're getting, I would, you don't want to say anything like that. Uh, like in that case, I would be like, yeah, someone, you don't need supplements. Someone doesn't need supplement. They don't need pre-workout or post-workout to get great results and to live healthy. Uh, and so if you have something that works good for you, that like, I love that you have something like that you have a meal plan that works for you, where you have good energy and all that stuff and just agree with. So like someone is doing Julian Michaels, be like, man, if uh, you're consistent with your Ju Julian Michaels workouts and you're getting your heart rate up and you're exercising, like, that's so awesome that you have something that's working for you. Right. Yeah. That's pretty and much then, what I did say to her. Yeah. Yeah. And then when but, you, as you get results and this is going to be with any of the invites that you're making, I bet for the most part people are, and this is whether you're coming back to body or you've been a, uh, or you're brand new, people need someone that they can count on that's going to be consistent. People are used to people starting uh, one thing, quitting, doing something else, quitting, doing something else. So they want to see that consistency. So that would be my biggest piece of advice. Um, the last thing that I really want to wrap up with is summer's hard. Um, uh, people are on social media a little bit less. Um they're busy with their kids and then they're going back to school and there's back to school stuff. It's the hardest season. I won't let, I've been doing this for 12 years and this is where a lot of people are going to slow down. Even partners in building their business, they're going to put on the brakes. They're going to coast. And I love seasons like this because this is your opportunity to go. 
like to put the gas on the pedal and stand apart from the rest of the crowd. Like if you want to be great at something, you can't be like everybody else. You have to be, you have to, like, I love football seasons coming up. My kid and I watch like almost every NFL game. And I think about those players and those players that like we watched a, a Netflix episode called quarterback and it highlighted three different quarterbacks. One of them is my kid's favorite, Patrick Mahomes. But even as I watched all they <laughs> their lives and they all were great. They were all great quarterbacks. They all had great seasons and it, it just showed their life with their family, what they do outside of football, what they do at their training. And like, it was like, it was cool to see like Patrick Mahomes, like, I never looked into any of their lives, but he definitely worked harder than any other one. Like he was at the camp, obviously with the team, but he had like a personal trainer and he was doing like some of the hardest stuff that I've seen, like in the off season while he was in, like, he was just, it was no surprise to me that he won two Super Bowls in the last few years. Like he, he was work, and it, I don't, the, the show wasn't put out to make him better than the others. It was just showing three quarterbacks that were, that had great seasons but it was obvious to me, this one set himself apart from the rest. And then it was cool to see what the actual result of that was. So my invitation to each of you guys, not just through this season, through the end of summer into to fall, is be that 1% person that goes above and beyond. Because that's what's going to set you apart. People are going to notice that and people want to be a part of that. Like I can, I can, I know Adriana, why you're with Kim because she's a 1%. She goes all in with her business, all in with her gut health, all in with her doing triathlons when she competes. Like she's a, a she goes above and beyond and everything. So it's no surprise to me that you're like, I want to be with Kim. So yep. yet we have to, each of us look at like, be that person. So as you go about your business, like life's going to, I've been listening to a lot of Eric Thomas as well. He's like, he had friends that were executed. His wife, had lesions found in her brain all this time while he built his empire that he has. Uh, he had friends steal from him. He had best friends go to jail. He had best friends die. All of these things that he talked about. And we're all going to have things. We're all going to go back to school. We're going to have problems with teenagers. We're going to have kids that go off to college that might get in trouble. We're going to have fights with our spouse, arguments or disagreements with our spouse. We're going to have a car breakdown, all of these things, but you, you have to make that decision. Like none of these things are going to stop me. This is, I'm going to lean into this. I'm going to grow through this. I'm going to be the strongest person. And I'm going to use this platform to become the strongest person and to help other people. And when you do that, like you set yourself apart. So we're the level up squad. So like, I expect each of you guys to, to be that type of person and, and, and be that 1%. Okay, I got to get going, but I'm glad you guys were all on here today. See you, Gio. It was good to see you, Gio, Sandra, Adriana, Matt. Enjoy the rest Thank of your you. day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you. Nice night. meeting everybody. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Adriana. Bye. See you guys later. Okay.